Right now at 6, a construction worker hit and killed and the driver responsible in jail this morning. Fox 61's Lindsay Kane is joining us with the latest details as police continue their investigation. The survivors of the Sandy Hook tragedy have graduated high school while still mourning their 20 classmates who were not there to join in the celebration. We'll tell you how they were remembered as the graduates walked across the stage. And the Boston Celtics got a big win last night. Now they're just one win away from bringing home their 12th NBA title. We're going to have all the highlights for you. All local, all morning. This is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Six o'clock, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us and kicking off your Thursday here with us at Fox 61, Fox 61 Plus America Areas. And I'm Tim Lammers. Good morning. We're starting with the forecast. We've been doing that a lot because the news has been mm -hmm. good. Of course, we do it when the news is bad. Mm. Uh, some, maybe some thunderstorms at, at some point coming in the next uh, uh, couple of days? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We, we've been talking about how Friday through the end right. of the week was going to, you know, we were going to bubble up the heat and the humidity and that would trigger some storms. The good news is, as you'll see as you, uh, we show you what you need to know, before you go, the heat and humidity are coming, but a great dad's day, which means all of this gets out of the way in time for the holiday weekend. We'll talk about that coming up. Here's a look at a satellite radar picture. Again, another picture perfect butte of a morning with really nothing to worry about later on this afternoon. Again, a couple of clouds, a little more in the way of cloud coverage. Now that we have that southerly flow, uh, we'll really get the numbers up. They're in the 50s now. The dew points still behaving. But by the end of the day, some of that moisture working its way up, the dew points will jump a bit into the 60s. So 61, our lucky 61 now, 84 degrees, good half a dozen degrees above normal for your highs today. And there's more to come in the heat department now and down the line in the seven day. We'll talk about that. We'll time out the storms for you, show you Dad's Day too. Lots to show you coming up in just a few minutes. I'm hoping Symphony Privet has nothing to show you on the maps, but I'm sure that's not the case. Yeah, not the case uh, so far in the six o'clock hour, Matt. It's already been a busy start in the traffic center this morning, so let's get you up to speed with what we are checking out. Starting off right here in the capital city, we've been keeping an eye on this road closure. On 84 westbound, the exit 46 on ramp is closed due to an overturned vehicle out there, a big rig. Uh, the tow truck is on the scene. Some first responders have uh, shown up in the last couple of minutes, so expect some delays if you normally uh, travel in that area. D the delay is not not reported on the Hartford drive time, so it should be smooth sailing for you along 9184 and Route 2, where we are watching a couple of other crashes out there. And West Haven on 95 northbound, there is a crash on exit 42. I believe this one is a vehicle fire, so that will be impacting the flow of traffic in that area. Also watching another crash on 95 northbound in Norwalk at exit 16. This one is between two tractor trailers. We'll work to see if we can get some cameras up in those areas coming up at 630. And Symphony, thank you. Uh, this morning, one man is in jail because Hartford police said he hit and killed a construction worker. Yeah, it happened near West Boulevard and South Whitney Street yesterday afternoon. Fox 61's Brooke Griffin has more on who the suspect and the victim are. Brooke. Well, this morning, Hartford police say a man named Jose Diaz Naivas is dead after being hit by a car and killed at this construction site here in Hartford. You can see the dump truck still there behind me. Uh, no work happening here this morning, but now police are really, really just trying to remind people that it's not only recommended, it's the law that you must slow down and move over when you see construction workers, first responders, whoever it may be pulled over on the side of the road. Investigators say just afternoon yesterday. A 25-year-old man named Tommy Guyon was speeding down West Boulevard when he drove right into a construction site. Police say a private contractor was working on a trench there in the roadway. The driver went through the site, hitting some equipment, a dump truck, and then the victim, identified as Diaz Naivas. Police say Naivas died at the scene from those injuries. The suspect was taken into custody at the scene. The other two people inside the car at the time, one of them a child, was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Police say Guyon has been charged with manslaughter, reckless driving, risk of injury to a minor, operating without insurance, operating with a suspended license, failure to use a child safety seat, and improper use of a license plate. So several charges there. He is being held on a $1 million bond, still in jail this morning, and they say no other charges are being pressed against the other people in that car. Live in Hartford, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, Brooke, thanks so much for the update there. We'll definitely check back through the morning. 
Well, meantime, officers in New Haven say at least one person was injured in a shooting. This was the scene last night. This is on Chamberlain Place. The victim was taken to the hospital to be treated. We are working to find out how they're doing this morning and also if anyone else was injured in this shooting. Well, it was uh, a bittersweet day in Newtown yesterday as dozens of survivors of the Sandy Hook school shooting got their diplomas. Yeah, the class of 2024 honored the 20 students and six educators that should have been there last night. Fox 61's Lindsay Kane is here in the studio with more on how their classmates honored the lives that were lost. Lindsay. Hi, good morning. Well, the class of 2024 crossed the stage in last night's graduation ceremony. Many still holding on to their grief from that tragic day when they were in just the first grade. Graduates remembered those classmates who should have been earning their diplomas with them. And for the parents of those children who lost their lives, the day was even more difficult. The Newtown High School class of 2024 wore green and white ribbons to the graduation ceremony to remember the classmates that should have been walking across the stage. Each of the 20 students Students' names were read aloud during the graduation ceremony, followed by a moment of silence. Instead of attending her daughter's graduation ceremony, Jenny Hubbard, Catherine Hubbard's mother, found peace at the animal sanctuary she created in her daughter's memory. Catherine would have turned 18 over the weekend. She says although graduation day was an unbelievably hard day, she's proud of the graduates for all they've done to try and stop gun violence with the Junior Newtown Action Alliance, and she's looking forward to see how they help change the world. They have come such a long way and they deserve their moment of recognizing just the accomplishment that they've been able to, to arrive at today and that we as a community celebrate what they're going to do, that we give them permission to go out in the world and not be defined by what happened here in Sandy Hook. School officials spoke in the graduation ceremony as well, saying those 20 students and six educators will be honored every day for their bravery, their kindness, and their spirit. Tim and Erica will send things back over to you.